Hello everybody and welcome again to 3D modeling for 3D printing. In the earlier lessons I showed you how to extract Pepcura files, load them into Blender, separate them into parts, scale it to the size that you need. I've added the solidify modifier that way it is now 3D printable and I've split it into workable pieces that way you can print it on your 3D printer. Now what we're going to cover in this is alignment. Now anybody who has worked with Pepecura in the past knows that moving just one part slightly out of alignment messes up the entire model. So, what we want to do is add alignment dowels. And so, these are just going to be little pins that you can slide in and make sure that everything's aligned perfectly for whenever you glue it. Alright, to do this, all we need to do, well, first let's go ahead and hide half of this model. So, let's just go ahead and hide the back half. And this is what we're left with. <coughs> Alright, for our dowel pins we're going to need uh, some cylinders. So we'll go ahead and add mesh cylinder. Now, uh, depending on what you're planning on using for your dowel pins, you might want to use your filament, just some spare filament cut into the required length that you might need. For this length I'm going to be using 20 millimeter length pieces with a radius of 1 so it's 2 millimeters across for 1.75 filament. This will allow plenty of room for it to slide in and out easily and allow for any kind of glue or if you want to use acetone to melt the plastic and help seat it. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of detail. I'm going to be using default 32 vertices. Uh, but since I'm going to be applying a, a modifier with this, a boolean modifier, I want to go ahead and make sure that the cap fill, the end caps over here, top and bottom, are triangle fan. Uh, this just helps out with uh, any problems that might occur later on. This produces the best result. So now we've got our dowel pin, but we need it aligned all across this helmet right here down the center. So just make sure that your dowel pin is centered and your helmet is centered. That way whenever you edit this, rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Okay. So now we zoom in, half of this cylinder, half of this dowel, is going to be in the front half and the other half is going to be in the back half. So all we need to do is bring it up until we align with the helmet but we don't want it to be on the seam right there in the center so we're going to move it over. Well, it's going to be kind of tedious since the left side is just a mirror image of the right side. I'm going to go ahead and cheat and add a modifier to this. We're going to be adding our mirror modifier. So now whatever dowel pins we create on this side it will be created on this side you may see that I've already created some over here I've already jumped ahead and cheated so after you get all your dowel pins down the side you can go ahead and apply Oops. make sure that you're in object mode go ahead and apply your mirror modifier after you get all your dowel pins this will create them for both sides let's go ahead and delete that bring everything back Oops. all right 
inside those pieces. Okay. Now I've already created my dowel pins, same the way I've created them down this seam of the helmet. I've also created dowel pins uh, down this seam. And I've applied them all into one object. Uh, if you're creating separate dowel pins, all you need to do is make sure that they're all highlighted. Press on Object. Join. Or Shortcut Control J. So now we want to apply a boolean modifier to each one of these. Let's go ahead and grab our first piece of the helmet. Add modifier, boolean. We're going to be doing a difference. Cylinder. So if we tab into our skeletal view, you can see that it is applying. Let's go ahead and remove that. With this part selected, you can see that uh, it's not creating anything. But with the cylinders selected, it's creating extra space inside this part of the helmet. So let's go ahead and apply that just to show you what it's doing. and let's hide everything else so here is the part I just created for adding dowel pins to I've got my dowel pin holes on this side now because I have my dowel pins set up in one specific fashion I know that this the dowel pins going through this side will be aligned with the dowel pin holes on the other side so now that we got Oops. I missed this seam right here going through this half of the model. But just go ahead and make sure that you go ahead and do that so that you can glue and align that half of the model as well. Let's see. Alright, so let's assume that this piece was already finished. Okay, so before we undo anything let's make sure that we are exporting our file as an STL you do not need to replace the already existing model but you can if you wish uh, uh, make sure that you're replacing the part that you loaded with the same name that you're saving this part as so export STL bring everything back we want this one. Apply that Boolean modifier to it. Check our name, Helmet 1, File, Export, STL, Helmet 1, Export. Go ahead and do this for the remaining six pieces of your helmet if you are working on your helmet. Like I said, I had forgotten to make the dowel pins for this half or this seam right here. So you're going to be making three paths of dowel pins one through here, one through the center, and one through this center. 